Starkville is yet to match the laws that were passed in 2012 regarding the alcohol content in beer. Now that they are trying to keep up with that, locals think that this will be a positive impact on business. Currently, Starkville's laws prohibit the sale of beer within 250 feet of places like churches, schools, and funeral homes. And even though state law allows the selling of beer of over 5% ABV, Starkville's doesn't. This new ordinance would change both. I think it will improve businesses a lot. It will help um, alcohol sales, you know, football season, everything coming along. It's going to help people that are looking for that more unique beer, for that more over 5%, you know, outside of the, you know, middle light blow, like the traditional beer, they can come and get a, you know, more unique beer. Being a college town, many bars and stores see college students come through their doors. Those students often keep later hours, and the new ordinance extends last call from midnight to one o'clock. It, it shows that they know that you know a lot of their business comes from college. A lot of the businesses, you know, our size, travel size doubles when school is in. So it's gonna just help and shows that they're trying to you know catch up with state. Aside from selling, microbrewing is also an option. A lot of local stuff around here is popping up. A lot of really good beers popping up. Um, and I think Strawt will be a great place. I mean, college kids, you know, come in town, it's a great place to try and get some beer, try and get some new stuff. They love trying stuff out, so it'll be a good spot for that. Public hearings for this ordinance is on September 5th and September 19th. In Starkville, Parker King, WCBI News. Coming up, students and staff at Columbus High School release balloons in memory of a student killed in a car crash over the weekend. More on this special remembrance just ahead.